Good day, everyone. In this lecture, I will be talking about how we evaluate the commutative relationship for uh, linear momentum, Px, and also the position operator, x. So if we recall the definition here for the commutator, so the P, the linear momentum operator, Px, now uh, with the position operator is equal Px, the linear momentum times position operator minus position operator x hat with p hat with respect to x. So this is the commutator for these two operators according to the definition. Now again, we, we have to recall the definition of these operators. Uh, the linear momentum px equal h power over i, the first derivative with respect to x. And if we talk about uh, three dimensions, we will be using uh, dx, dy, dz, right? Now, what about the position operator? And this is simply multiplying by x, right? And okay. And these two operators operate over uh, psi, with respect to x, and here I will, I will drop uh, x. I will just use uh, psi. If we substitute these operators in the main commutator relationship, uh, it will equal now the p x, the p hat. It will be h bar over i, the first derivative with respect to x. Now this is very important term because here. We operate, uh, or we have a derivative of a product function. Here we have uh, x and psi. So we have x and also psi. So it will be a product uh, derivative of, uh, of a product function, two product functions. Okay, now, and this is minus by definition, the x hat equal x time h bar over i d over dx psi. Uh, all right. So again, we simplify things here. Common factor h over i. So here we have h i. This is multiplied by. Now, what's the derivative of uh, the product function here? So here we have x multiplied by d psi over dx, and this is plus psi dx over dx, right? And minus the last term here, we have x multiplied by d psi over dx. Now we cancel this term with this term, they will be canceled, and we left with psi dx over dx, and this term equal equal one. Right? So uh, we left with h bar over i multiply by psi. So if we drop psi, so then you end up with only h bar over over i. And this is really the answer of the commutator. So the commutator px x equal h bar over i. And this tells us that uh, these operators do not commute. So in this case, we cannot simultaneously know the position uh, of a particle in x direction and also the linear momentum simultaneously with infinite uh, precision, right? And again, uh, if we do the commutator, for example, x, px, and this, if we do this in the same way, 
we will end up with a, a, a minus h bar over i. 